Hello there and welcome back my friends to another video. In this video we are going to be talking about keeping clownfish. In this video we will go into depth as to what entails when it comes to keeping clownfish of all types. If you are looking to keep clownfish for the very first time, the main difference between keeping a clownfish or keeping something like a neon tetra is essentially the type of water that they live in. Clownfish are saltwater fish or marine fish and this simply means that they live in salt water. So basically seawater and that's essentially the main difference and the main sort of level of difficulty when it comes to keeping clownfish is simply working out and learning how to keep the water they live in at the right salinity and it's not really hard at all you can buy salt in various sizes and it tells you exactly on the packet how much salt to add to how much water and you'll get the right salinity for clownfish to live in now there are loads and loads of different types of clownfish the most common you'll find will be the common clownfish and these are ocellaris clownfish but there's also very similar ones that are called peculiar clownfish and they're two different types of clownfish but there are also things like tomato clownfish you have clarky eye clownfish skunk clownfish and all of the different variations in color therein most of these variations in color are done by selective breeding because most if not all clownfish you'll probably find on the market these days are all bred in facilities none of them really come from the ocean anymore and because of this they can select different colors different traits and bring out lots and lots of different kinds of morphs of these clownfish for you to buy now some of the rarer colors are costing more than some of the more common colors and this obviously makes sense in terms of ease of care i would steer you towards more of the ocellaris peculiar clownfish and also maybe the clarky eye clownfish in terms of ease of care and lack of aggression some of the more aggressive clownfish can be um, not very welcome in, a, in an aquarium such as the tomato clownfish can be a little bit more aggressive and uh, harder to keep when you're picking your clownfish it's best to either buy a pair that have been together for a while or it's best to buy them as two small juvenile fish and the reason for this is because of how they develop into different sexes so they're all born as males and what happens is the most dominant fish within that group whether it's a pair or a large harem of clownfish one of them will become more aggressive and more dominant and actually turn into a female and then it will basically keep all the other clownfish as males by sort of being aggressive to them and repressing their hormones and this is the reason why you want to either get a pair that's already gone through that or you want to get a pair that are still both males and then allow them to, to decide which one becomes the female what you don't want to do is actually go out and buy two large separate clownfish because the chances are they'll both be females and then when you add them to the tank they're not going to get along and they'll probably fight with this you can actually keep clownfish either in pairs or you can keep them in large groups if you've been to a public aquarium you've probably seen tanks full of clownfish hosting numerous anemones and this is basically very similar to how they live in the wild and it's difficult to do this in an aquarium because obviously you need quite a large aquarium and it can be quite expensive but if you can overcome those hurdles then yes you can keep them in a large group in your aquarium in terms of size of aquarium for clownfish for a simple pair i recommend around 80 liters or 20 gallons but if you want more clownfish or you want them to sort of have a better experience in life then a bigger tank is preferable one thing you really need to note though is it's very important to have a lid on your tank because clownfish are known to jump out of your aquarium not all of them do it but it's very common for them to jump certainly to wake up in the morning and find a dried out clownfish is not an experience i'd recommend now in terms of decor in your tank you don't need corals you don't need anemones um, most of the tank bred clownfish don't even know what an anemone is and if you add one to your tank there's a good chance they will just ignore it so unless you've got a particular want or need for an anemone or corals they're not particularly necessary you can run your clownfish tank with whatever decor you desire 
However, they are an interesting thing to have and if you're willing to learn how to keep them and to add the correct kind of substrate, lighting, filtration required to keep anemones and corals, then go ahead by all means. In terms of feeding clownfish, they're very, very unpicky. It's good to give them a very wide variety of diets and they eat very similar stuff to your freshwater fish. So you can give them flake food, you can give them pellet food and also frozen mysis and brine shrimp. Now there are specific types of foods for saltwater fish, so there are marine flakes and marine pellets and they are different to freshwater flakes and pellets so it's best to give them the right type. Like most tropical fish, so clownfish are tropical, tropical means warm, they're just saltwater tropical, they do require certain parameters to live in. But they're very similar in terms of temperature, so anywhere between 24 to 26 degrees Celsius is fine. And in terms of salinity, because clownfish are very tolerant fish and they're also tank bred nowadays, they can actually tolerate quite a wide variety of different salinities. Most of the time, a lot of the breeders will keep the clownfish at a low salinity, so you'll be looking at something like 1.019. And this is due to cost factors, but also due to um, parasites don't like to live in low salinity, so they'll do it for the health of the clownfish. But because of this, it means that you can keep clownfish in quite low salinity, anywhere from 1.018 all the way up to normal salt water and beyond, probably all the way to 1.028. But the optimal kind of range would be 1.020 and 1.026. And that is, of course, in specific gravity. So I hope that has answered some questions with regards to keeping clownfish. They are very, very simple and about as basic as you can get when it comes to salt water. So thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed already. And as always, please hit the bell so that when I do a new video, you will get a notification of it being released. Thank you very much for watching and happy fish keeping.